Great Depression, number three. So, I'm, I'm emphasizing two things. Being rich is not enough. Rich means you got a lot of money. But the problem with it is if you're rich, it means you can eventually lose it if you're very stupid. And so Franklin Roosevelt was elected in 1932. The idea was to get America working again. That means the jobs are going to be in factories and you're going to buy and sell stuff and people are going to have money. And they don't have to, men don't have to wander the country just trying to get money to send home to their families. So he had, some, had a new idea. This is FDR. Franklin Rosa had a new idea. And the new idea was very simple. Whereas before business and government was separate, government did not get, interfere with business. It was separate. You had business and you had government. And so he says, what we're going to do is we're going to get the government in the business. And what we're going to do is we're going to start some industries. That means jobs and factories and stuff. And the government is going to finance it. The money from the government is going to go to start these various industries. And so the idea is to get people working again, which is basically men. Give jobs to men. They got to make some money to send home to their family. Some people were starving to death at that time because they didn't have enough money to buy food. And when you don't have enough money to buy food, you got two problems. Number one is you're going to die, or number two, you're going to try to steal from people. And so FDR says, we're going to have government programs. And that started in 1932. So he did what you call the 100 Days Program. For the first 100 days of his presidency, he had all these government agencies who were going to do do all kinds of money and they were borrowing money, government was borrowing money and stuff like that. And we're going to put money into the industry to get people working again. And some more things worked and some things don't work. So FDR says, if it works, we continue it. If it doesn't work, we stop and do something else. Why? Because as the president, I have a responsibility to the country. Now Hoover was basically just eating big meals and not paying attention. So what happened then is you started the idea of government involvement in business. And so the government was borrowing money from banks and that. Bar bar government was borrowing money from banks and it was starting industries. When I say industries, I mean factories working and making stuff. You're making stuff. Factories, you make stuff. In business, you basically take care of records of how things are going. And it worked. And so Franklin Roosevelt is going down in history as the person that got America working again. Now I go back to my father. In 1932, that's the year that Franklin Roosevelt was elected president, my father had no job. He was 18 years old. There's no job. Nobody's going to hire him because they don't have jobs for 18-year-old kids. So the government started programs for young people. And he was in, this is my father now, at 18, was in a program to help young people, roughly from about age, it was boys only, no girls, to help young boys from 18 to 22. No, I got that wrong. 16, age 16 to 22, to jobs. And you go work for the government in different parts of the country. Now, because my father grew up in Michigan, the logging industries, you know, timber, growing trees and then cutting them down in logs for building houses and stuff like that, buildings. So they started, they started a program for young people, and it was boys. And so you go out and then you live there and you had an army officer who usually a lieutenant, that's a low level, he was in charge of it and you go to different places and what you do is you go out into the forest. Michigan is full of forests. Forest means the places are a lot of a lot of trees. You cut down the trees, and then you get the timber, and then you float them down the river to some place, and then they go in a factory, and the factories cut them into logs. That's L O G S, and then they sell the logs to people that want to build buildings and houses and stuff like that. So my father was there for several years, and he did it from age eighteen. And he did it because there were no other jobs for him. He was 18 years old. 
and he worked for several number of years. I don't even remember the number of years there. And then he eventually, uh, like I said, uh, FDR was starting all these other programs to get people working. So giving jobs to young kids and giving jobs to older men so they had some money to support their families. So Franklin Roosevelt was reelected again in 1936. He reelected in 1940. And then he was reelected again. And then he died in World War II. I mentioned World War II started with America in 1941. Well, he died in office. And then the vice president became the new president called Harry Truman. And so what happened, and I'm emphasizing this very much, this is all part of history. There was a major break, a major division of how things changed. And they changed basically because government had to come, become involved in business because otherwise the country was going to deteriorate. And like I said, you had, two big, you had two ways of handling it. One is you starve to death, or number two, you rob or commit crimes. Now I go a moment back to Wall Street people, the stockbrokers in Wall Street, these were a lot of rich people who were doing all the stock market buying and selling well. They had a problem with they couldn't sell stock anymore because people didn't have money even to buy 10%. So they had a joke and there was a joke at that time. And the joke was the most dangerous city in New York City, the most dangerous street was Wall Street. That's where the stock market companies are. Why is it most dangerous? Because you're walking down on the pavement and suddenly a stock market jumps out of his window and you had skyscrapers, many, many stories, jumps out of his window of his office, jumps down to his death. But if you were between him and his cement where he basically died, he would kill you. So the thing was, you don't walk on Wall Street because the walk stock market guy is going to kill you. Now, I said the stock market people before that were spending a lot of money. Spending, they were doing a lot of money because you had a big division between rich people and poor people. And then the, then the stock market people became poor too and they were jumping out. So the question is, in the Great Depression now, why did the stock market people, stock market people, why did they jump out of the office and kill themselves? Well, that was quite simple. That was family. If they died, then they had some insurance, family called death insurance. Then the family would receive some money from the insurance company because the father, the father, because usually they had children, the father was dead and so the insurance company would give a little bit of money to the wife. And so the men were basically killing themselves. This is stock market people now who had been kind of stupid before then. And now the only chance they had to get some money for their family was to kill themselves. We have a word called suicide. And so they were committing suicide because they wanted to give money for the families. Now I mentioned Franklin Roosevelt was trying to give some money to the men to give them jobs and so the money could send, the, the jobs could go make some money and send money to their families at home. And so what Frank, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR, what he did is he started all these programs. Now, this is an important point in life you should remember. When you do something, some things work and some things don't. And history, basically, history is a record. Uh, written history basically means written record. You have books in that and magazines and newspapers, a record of what works and what doesn't work. So Franklin Roosevelt had an idea of a program works, you put a lot of money into it. If a program doesn't work, you stop the program and start a new program. I repeat that. You start a new program. Stop. <laughs>